All right, welcome back, Craps fan. This is Scott from Paradise Craps here to roll out session 11 of the Don't Pass Hit and Run strategy. So, um, through 10 sessions, we've had all winners $1,275, bankroll. Um, we haven't gotten down to below 250 on that bankroll, but I did. I was rolling it out on wind craps and I did get down to. Uh, minus 400 I think maybe even minus 450 I think so I almost wiped out and I was able to grind it back to a hundred dollar profit so I think five hundred dollars is probably the right side bankroll if you're going to try to work yourself out of a big hole uh, the other thing is <coughs> oh excuse me <coughs> dang um, uh, Dr. Don't Pass One had asked me a question, and I went in and I re-ran a couple of things for him. But I also ran this strategy through the same 100,000. I didn't do 120, I did 100,000 because that's what I was doing for him. Um, rolls. And it is, it's definitely the best strategy I've done on there to date. Uh, I did get, and just like I told Dr. Don't Pass One, you know, you can run it 15 times, you're going to get 15 different, you know, uh, results because it's using random, you know, numbers, uh, random rolls. But it was, the worst was like minus 1.7 and the best, and, that, and then this is something that really caught me off guard was the best was I think two out of the five times I ran at 100,000, I got a positive expectancy. Not, not a big positive, but positive. 0 0.014, 0 0.02, something. Um, but that I think this is the first strategy ever that I've done that where I actually had a uh, potential positive expectancy on my bankroll after a large number of rolls. So that is very encouraging. Um, I have been getting whacked on uh, Wincraft run it, rolling it out. So I think you, it, it's similar to what we were doing with the other strategies. You have to be very careful if you're going to try a recovery and you have to be very, you, you can't really be careful with the lay odds because you're putting them out there, but you are going to get back to back forward. You are going to get back to back tens, just like you did with the lays, which is going to knock those off. But if you don't go crazy trying to chase it, it's not crippling, right? Especially with a $500 bankroll, you can get it back. Anyway, that's been my experience, um, but I have wiped out a $500 bankroll. Um, and it was probably chasing, doing stupid stuff, you know, on my recovery to get it back. So, all right. So this is session 11. Again, we've had 10 sessions, all winners. First time that I've been tracking strategies that I've had that. Um, so that uh, we're off to a good start. $25 DP. And that's it. Coming out. Again, we're looking for about 100 bucks. All right, six, four, ten, 125, I should say, 125. So we have some tip money. Keep the animals happy. All right, so we're going to do a $50 lay, lay odds. And there's a non -E. So anyway, just a point of reference. Eight. I mean, I don't think it gets much simpler than this one. Eleven. The only time you're changing it up is on the four and ten. That's it. Four, two, six. And you know you can, um, and I have uh, on wind crafts. There's there's a six, four, ten. So we got knocked off. Um, you can on the four and ten push this up to max odds, which would be one hundred fifty dollars. All right, so we're down seventy five. Coming out nine here. But just be very careful because that is, you know, much higher. So you're going to take a bigger bite if you don't get it. Four. Bigger bite out of your bankroll, that is. Nine. Point hit. All right, so now that quick, we're down 100 bucks. Back out on our DP. Coming out. Seven. Going to lose. Another quarter. So we're down one and a quarter already. Here we go. Coming out. Five. Here. 
But again, as long as we don't chase it, we have a good chance of getting it back. Six one seven out. Coming out. Nine meter. Six one seven out. Coming out. Six. Eight. Six one seven out. So again, on the four, we're going to do a $50 lay odds. Coming up, oh, rolling, not coming out, rolling. Seven out. All right, so that's going to pay us 50. All right, 25 for the 50 and 25 flat. All right, so let's see what we got here. All right, so we're back to even that quick. All right, now let's see if we can move it up. Got a nine meter. Eleven. Ten. Seven out. Six one. All been six one so far. All right, that one gets to go on the left side of our wreck. And we got a five fever. And we got an eight. Got a nine. Got a four. We got a three. Seven come out seven, so that's going to be a loser. All right, so now we're down a quarter again. Six four two. There we go. Three. Six one seven out. All right, back to even. Coming out. Fever. Seven out. Five two. We're all through. All right. Up a quarter. Coming out. Eight. Eight is the point. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to, to getting a, a new microphone. So Onion Friend had an issue with the sound. And I, I listen to them to try to get these numbers for my board. And on my headphones, it sounds fine, other than the noise of the fan when I have that on. But um, but when I try to listen to it in ambient on my laptop, I can barely hear it. So I understand what you're saying. Two cracks. Anyway, so I ordered a cheap little uh, microphone from Amazon to try that out. It's made for YouTube type, you know, recording. So we'll see how that works out. And I'm hoping that it'll work out well enough to where I can keep my uh, headset on, my, my headphones on that I'm using right now for audio. Give me a second. Um, and listen to music. That would be ideal if I can actually do that. So I'm hopeful. We'll see in a week or so when they get here. 
All right, where are we at? Okay, we hit it off the table. Here we go. Rolling. Six, four, ten. Five, three, eight point hit. All right, so we're going to leave that back to even again. Coming out. Eleven. We're going to lose another one. Down a quarter. And we got a five, even. On a five. Boom! Oh, gosh darn it, off the table again. I think I know how much force was required to keep the damn dice on the table. Alright, here we go. Oh, son of a gun, I did it again. Jeez. Sorry about that. Here we go. Come out. Oh, we're rolling. Not coming out. Five, two, seven out. There we go. All right. So now we're back to even. Coming out. Four. All right. So we're on a four fifty dollar and lay odds. Here we go. Ah, having a hard time holding on to these things today. We're dropping them or tossing them off the table. Coming out. Oh, they're not coming out. We weren't looking for a four, but we hit one. All right. So again, not crippling. Back out. And here we go. Coming out. Nine meter. Just we're just playing the odds, playing the probabilities. Here we go. Eight. Seven out. All right, so we'll get a quarter back. And we're rolling, come out. Five, fever. Six. Seven out. All right. Coming out. Nine here. Three. Seven out. All right, back even again. So it's a grinder, but it's not it's not bad. Five even. I mean, as long as you don't go crazy like I have in the past and try chasing the heck out of it. And there's a five, so we're going to lose that one. And we're down a quarter. Coming out. Six forty-two. Ten. Eight. Nine. But I, the ten and the four, they definitely make a difference when you hit them. Help you out, I mean. Six to eight. Three on four. Three. Seven out. All right. Back to even. All right, let's push it up. Looking for five units. Nine units. Eleven. 
nine. All right, down a quarter. Coming out. Four. All right, see if we have better luck on the four this time. Rolling. Twelve. Seven out. Yes, we do have better luck this time. All right, so that's going to pay us 50. Put the 50 and it puts us one, two, three, four, seven, five, five, quarter up. Here we go. Roll it. Coming out of me. Nine. units up keep coming out 10 down at the end all right another opportunity all right so we're on the 10 again we're going to need 50 dollars on lay odds three three sure I randomize them. Seven out. There we go. All right. So that's going to pay us 50. All right. So we're already good there. So we're up 100. Looking for one more. Coming out. We got a six. On the six. Four, four, five, six. All right, so we're going to lose that one, so we're down. So we're still up 75. Here we go, coming out. We got an eight. Rolling. Six. Three. Six. Six, box cards, twelve, seven out. All right, coming out. Four. All right, get another opportunity. Dollar in lay odds. See if we get a seven before four. Here we go. Got a five, even. Got a five, even. Looking for big red. Got a two, two crepes. Three. Three crafts. Looking for big red. Come on, seven. Oh, 
Take a glad can or ten. Eight. Seven out. There we go. We're all done with this session 11. Another winner. All right, so it's going to pay us 50. And we got 50 to put up there. 25 goes back in our rack here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, 500 starting bankroll. And here we got, there's 150. $150. So, wow. I tell you, man, I, I am really liking this strategy. 150. And like I said, this is the first strategy I have ever run on Wincrafts where I had a positive ex expectancy on the uh, bankroll. And I, I did that. I hit, the, hit it twice. I think two times in five runs. Five runs of 100,000. I got that positive expectancy. So I'm really excited about that. I got my clock clean several times too, don't get me wrong, but at least if I don't see it on the table, I think there's enough variability there that uh, I'm certainly comfortable rolling this one out for sure in the casino. All right, again, this is Scott from Paradise Craps. Thanks for watching. This is session 11 of the Don't Pass Hit and Run. Talk to you later. See you at the table for session 12.